This is the fourth time I've tried to make this video. Um, I don't have a computer. I have to use my phone, and my phone keeps freezing. So um, we're going to try this again. This is about forgiveness. Jesus taught us about forgiveness. If, you're, if you forgive others of their transgressions, your Heavenly Father will forgive you. Peter asked Jesus, how often is it necessary to forgive? Jesus replied, 70 times 7. It's very important as Christians that we forgive. We forgive those who have done us wrong. We've all had somebody in our life who's hurt our feelings. Maybe judged us. Ephesians 4 verse 32 says, Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. 1 John 1 verse 9 1 John 1 verse 9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us, cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Mark 11 verse 25. And whenever you stand praying, forgive if you have anything against anyone so that your Father also who is in heaven may forgive you of your trespasses. Luke 6, verse 37. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. We'll do one more. Matthew 6, verse 12. And forgive us our debts as we've forgiven our debtors. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. A little prayer for trusting God in hard times. Lord, I thank you that you are the God of the impossible. You can do anything I want to trust in your ability and not my own. Teach me to see difficulties in my life from your perspective. Help me to focus on you and your power. I want to be like Joshua and Caleb, who believed in a good report and focused on you, even in hard circumstances. My responsibility is to carefully read, trust, and obey your word. And declare my faith in your ability to fulfill your promises to me. You will fight for me. You will win my battles in my life. You are mighty, powerful, righteous, and true. I have nothing to fear with you on my side. We have nothing to fear with our Heavenly Father on our side. Holy Spirit's always with us. Whenever you go through difficulties in life, He gets us through. Oh. If there's anybody in your life that you're, how should I put it, um, it's maybe hurt your feelings. I'm not saying that you haven't forgiven them, I'm not saying that, but if you haven't, just forgive them. You know, forgive them. Pray for them. That's what we should be doing as Christians. We gotta forgive each other. We gotta pray for each other. From our time in this world's really short. I know we're all praying the rapture happens this year. I'm ready to see Jesus. That's like literally all I think about every day. You guys know my health has been attacked big time. I feel like I'm a walking train wreck right now, but I smile. I'm not losing my faith. I wear this as a badge of honor. See, when we go through things like this, when we go through hard times, smile. Praise the Lord and rejoice. Because that means that you're going down the right path. And Satan knows it and he's trying to stop it. But he ain't going to win. And remember, I'll meet at the brownie table. Hang in there, family. Our time in this world short.
got the video done. Yay, I got the video done. <laughs> I've been trying to make this video and my phone keeps freezing and I'm like and then I, I unfreeze it and it shuts off and it, it, when the recording saves when it's the video's not done and the recording saves I don't know how to like add to it and I'm like I'm like yay praise the Lord I got the video done God bless you guys I love you you're in my prayers I try to reply to as many comments as I can but it's been kind of tough um, lately because of just my health and everything that's going on. And um, I have a couple appointments on the third. Um, and um, I can't remember the dates right now. I'll have to look at my phone. But um, my echocardiogram is the end of. Um, they don't think it's anything with my heart, but since I have the heart murmur, they want to go and check it. So that's the end of September. And um, I might, depending on what the orthopedic doctor says. I have to see if I can still do the stress test. I might have to reschedule it again. So, um, the breathing isn't too bad today. Yesterday and the day before was horrible. Um, believe it or not, I got more of a voice today. So, um, try to eat healthy. Um, I got some egg whites, some pears, um, honey, things like that. So, um, we'll see what happens. I'm just, I smile, I rejoice, I praise the Lord. I'm pushing Satan's buttons, that's why all this is happening. And I, I, I will continue walking with the Lord and I will never lose my faith. Whatever you're going through, if you're going through, if you can relate, if you can relate, rejoice, praise the Lord. Worship the Lord. Not that you're not. I mean, just praise the Lord, worship the Lord. Good times and in bad times. Because you know what? You're going down the right path. Satan's trying to stop it. Do you ever wonder? Maybe you, see, maybe you have a family member, a friend that doesn't really walk with the Lord. And they just, we, first of all, we don't know what somebody's going through. You know? But maybe it seems like they go on vacations, they get new clothes, they get this, they get that. That's not blessing. That's, that's not being blessed. And you're thinking, okay, well, I walk with the Lord and they don't walk with the Lord. And what, you know, well, why is Satan going to focus on them? You know? He's not going to focus on them. He's going to focus on you. You're the threat. Not them. You're the threat. My friend's mother used to say new level. New devil. Satan's number one goal is to keep us from going to heaven. No. Satan was defeated at the cross. He knows he was defeated. He knows he doesn't win. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, all your sins are washed clean. When you've repented, you walk with Christ. Satan knows his time's up. And I'm telling y'all, between now, I mean, I'm seeing... I'm, I'm limiting, I'm doing things new on my channel. I was talking to my sister in Christ, um, and Jennifer, hello Jennifer, if you're listening. Um, and I've been thinking about this for a while and I feel like it was, I was just the Lord's leading me to um, lean back so much on the news. We we know we're living in the last days, we know what's going on in the world, you know? And um, more Bible, more scriptures, more daily devotionals. Uh, if there's anything breaking, you know, that's major, you know, I'm, of course, I'm going to report it, but, um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing more of that. And, um, I was, okay, I was scared. There was something I was, I, I'm going through menopause. I've got a lot on my mind right now, so sometimes, and I apologize, I'll start to say something, and I'll forget what I'm going to say. So I apologize, because I was going to say something. I forget, after the video, but that's what I was going to say. But, um, yeah, I was just, I'm going to start doing it that way. And, um. But between now and the rapture, and this is in doom and gloom, put on the form of God. Stay close to the Lord. Don't let go of his hand because I'm, I'm, I'm letting y'all know it's going to get bad. Satan knows where to attack each person. And it's going to get worse and worse. Oh, I remember what I was going to say now. I'm seeing reports of, um, and I got to be careful what I say, um, the pandemic that started a few years ago. Well, um, 
I should I put this on? We might start seeing something else. My backup channel, I believe, is Redeem51. Um, if I ever go many days without making a video, then I probably got a strike, because last time I got a strike, I had a hard time getting a message through to you guys. I was trying to get people out. There's only one channel that helped me. God bless them. But, um, yeah, it's, it's not over, put it that way. I don't think it's over. So, stay close to the Lord. Our redemption draws near. Keep looking up. Hang in there. Full armor of God. We know why all this is happening. We know why they're doing it. We know that for the world, woe is them. But for us who walk with Christ, we're about to go home to the marriage supper. You don't want to be here for what's about to happen in the world, so hang in there, family. Our time's short. Jesus is coming. Thank you for all your prayers and all your love and all your support. <clears throat> I love you guys. And I will be talking to you soon. God bless.